Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to Chris Control Automation. If this is the first time you are watching my channel, kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon and then select all, okay, for all my videos. All right. Today we are going to look at off delay timer. Off delay timer. Yeah, so types of electronic timers you have on delay and then off delay timers. They are all solid state electronic relay timers. Okay. So over here you have Siemens Sirius timer. This timer is manufactured by Siemens. And then this is the model number in case you want to purchase. The timer you have here, okay, it operates on two voltages. That is AC and DC. Yeah, so let me explain this terminals here. Down here we have A1, okay, A1 and B1. The A1 they've written A1 220 to 240 volt AC. So in case you want to use the timer on AC, you're going to use this side, okay? And then the top here we have A3, okay, A3 and B3. So the A3 we have A3 24 volt DC. So in case you want to use the timer on DC voltage, you use the top here. And then you have here to the A2 terminal. Okay, the A2 terminal is common to both the AC and then the DC. The A2 terminal is common to both the AC and DC terminals. That is the A1 and A3. The A2 is common to both of them. So in case you want to use this timer, okay, on DC, the coil, the coil terminals, okay, are going to be the DC terminal, DC voltage, okay. So it means that the coil terminals are going to be A3 and then A2. A3 and then A2. In case you want to use this timer on AC, the coil terminals are going to be A1, okay, the A1, and then the A2. All right, but we are going to use this, this timer on AC. So it means that we are going to use A1 and then A2. All right, let me explain this contact to you, this terminals. We have 15C down here, 15C. This is the common terminal, okay, the common terminal. And then we have down here to 16NC, okay, 16NC. So this is the normally closed terminal. And then 18NO, this is the normally open terminal, okay. Let me come back to the Bs, okay, the Bs here. We have B3 here. This B3 is the initiating input terminal for the DC side, okay? And then the B1 to use is the initiating input terminal for the AC side. All right. Here too, we have the diagram here. This one. This diagram. Okay, this is the diagram of the timer. So we have A2 at the down here. A2 at the down here. And then A and B here. Then these are the call, sorry, the timer contacts. Okay, and then this is the the potentiometer. We're going to set the timer at a particular time. So this timer ranges from 1.5 to 30 seconds. It, it works between 1.5 to 30 seconds. Okay, and then these are the the power. This is the, this is the power light. Then this is the contact light. All right. Let's come back to uh, this diagram. Over here, we have MCB. Okay. Uh, this is our miniature circuit breaker. We have the timer coil, okay? We have the start input terminal or switch or push button, yeah. Then we have the contacts. This is the 15C, the common contact, and then 16C, the normally closed contacts, okay? And then the 18O, the normally open contacts. And this is our lamp, indicator lamp. All right. So we are using this timer, I said earlier, on AC. So we only need A1 and then A2. So over here, this is the curl of the timer, okay? So we have A1 and A2, okay? The light comes to A1, then A2 is a neutral. The B1 here is the input terminal I talked about earlier. That in case you want to use the timer on AC, I'm going to use this side. This, one, this side is the input terminal for this timer, okay? I will explain that, why it is there. Okay, off delay timers, okay? Off delay timers, they are a little bit different from on delay timer. Why? Let's explain. Okay, so when this breaker is, clo is closed, okay, the timer is energized. So when you close the main breaker, okay, this timer is energized. Means that power is applied between the A, A1 and the A2. So the timer is energized, but the counting would never start. When the timer is energized, the counting will never start. So it means that uh, unlike normal, uh, unlike uh, 
on delay timer when the timer is energized then the, the counting starts the off delay timer is never like that okay so what it means that the off the off delay timer it always has to get a constant power always power should be at the core always the core should be energized but the counting will never start the counting only starts when certain requirements are being met so i will explain that okay so now we are coming to operate the off delay timer so now we have switched on our breaker okay so now the coil is energized i said earlier the coil should always be on for off delay timer the coil should always be energized okay so now our breaker is on the coil is energized so oh, so when we switch on this switch okay either it's a push button or a normal switch whatever okay so when this switch is closed it means that we have applied ac okay ac voltage to the b1 okay this terminal okay so as soon as this switch closes and the voltage is applied at bit one terminal this contact okay this contact they change their state immediately we close this switch okay this contact change their state this contact so they normally close will become normally open and then the normally open will become normally closed that is how it will bridge okay and when this contact is uh, this switch is open when this switch is open that is when the counting will start that is when the counting will start okay so when you close the switch when you close the switch the, the contact will change their state the, op the close will become open and then the open become closed okay and when you remove our hand from the push button or the switch or when you open the switch and power is being cut off from uh, the b1 okay immediately the counting starts so let's say if you set the timer at six seconds immediately we we open the switch the switch okay and then the timing will start counting so let's say six seconds it will count six seconds after six seconds it will switch back to their normal positions yes this is how the, the off delay timer operates okay when it is energized the counting will never start and always it should be energized always okay so when there's an input signal at terminal b1 okay Immediately we close the switch. Immediately we close the switch. Okay, and power is applied at B1. Okay. This contact they change their state simultaneously. Immediately we close the switch. This contact change their state. Okay. So the close will be open and then the open will be closed. Okay. And when this switch is open, okay, then the counting will start to start counting. Okay. So after the preset time is reached, okay, then the contact would come back to your normal positions. That is how this timer operates. So we are going to do the wiring, okay, and see how the operation will be. Okay. So I come to wire it. So this is so let's take our cable, power cable. So from the breaker output here coming to the a1 because you are using the timer on ac on ac so this is the a1 terminal okay and then from the a2 to neutral so let's use uh, this black cable as our neutral so neutral And then we send it to the A2 terminal. A2 terminal. Okay. So now we are done with this side. Okay. Left with this input um, terminal here, this side. Okay. So we are going to use this push button. So you take a cable and put it at. Uh, the same breaker after the breaker output. This is very practical. Just take your time to understand this. Okay, it's not difficult. So from there, we connect it at the open side. Okay, this is the open side. Okay, so 
Let's add this place. Okay. Okay. And then from the down goes to the B1. The B1. Okay, and then so we are connecting we're connecting it at B1. B1. So this is our B1 item now. Okay. So now, now we are done with now this side so leverage the contact okay so we are using the normal cooking side as our indicator so we connect it at the mcb output so let's do this again and set this cable there yeah. okay So from down, so down here, it's coming to the normally, sorry, the common terminal, 15. The common terminal, the timer. So this is the 15, the common terminal, 15. Okay. Okay. So and then from 18 that is the normal open terminal 18 to the to the lamp 18 so this is the 18 this side is the 18 normal open terminal and then from the 18 to go into our lamp our indicator lamp so we are using this red lamp okay as our indicator so from the lamp to to the neutral so let's connect it here okay so now we are done with this side okay so from the lamp that side to the neutral so let's use um this little cable yeah and go down here Okay, and then to the neutral. Okay, to the neutral. So, oh, okay, let me connect it as the A2, they are all the same. Okay, so now we are done with the wiring. Okay, we are done with the wiring. So let's on our breaker. Okay, so let me on the breaker. So when we on the breaker, okay, when we on the breaker, the timer would be energized. Okay, it will energize. So it means that when it energizes, this light will turn on. That's the power light. Okay, you see. So as we on the breaker. This light is on now. See the timer is energized now. It is energized now, but the timing is not counting. The delay timing is not working. Okay, but it is energized now. And as I said, off delay timer should be always energized. Okay, so now we are coming to press. We are, to, we are coming to close this switch by pressing the push button. Okay, so when we press this switch, the push button, and then this switch closes, it means that we have applied AC voltage to the B1. So as soon as this switch closes, this contact will change their state. The open will close. This, this close will be open. And then this open will be closed. And then the light will come on. So let's try and see. So my hand will still be on it. You see, this light is on. And then the indicator light is also on, right? The flickering, okay? That is like the bulb is flickering. That is the AC signal. Yeah. Yeah, that is 
what the camera is capture, capturing. Yeah. So now my hand is still on. You see that? It means that this side is closed. And then power is at B1 terminal. Okay. And then this contact, they've changed their state. So this one is now open. This one is now closed. That is why our bulb is on. Okay. So when I remove my hand from it, it means that I've opened this side. And that is when the timing will start counting. And now we have set it at six seconds. We have set it at six seconds. Six. So I'm removing my hand. Let's see what will happen. So the minute I remove my hand, it will start counting. This one will start counting. So after six seconds, it will open. This one will be open. It will be closed. This one will be open. The bulb will go off. You see that? So when I press it again, this, so no, here this side is closed. Power is here. They've changed their states. This side is open now. This side is closed now. Bulb is on, as you see here. So when I remove my hand, and then the time, the counting will start. The counting will start. So now it is counting. After six seconds, it will go off. All right. So this is simple of delay timer. Okay. So this is part one. In part two, that is my next video on the same of delay timer. Okay. We are going to uh, include relays. Okay. And even contactors. Yeah. Yeah, to, 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 to know how it will be uh, used in different circuits. Okay, so you're going to use relays, yeah, uh, or contactors. So if you want to understand it more perfectly, be watching out for the part two. Make sure you watch it and understand it. All right, so now we are done. Kindly subscribe to the channel, okay? Put your comments down there. Like the channel, okay? Like it or the video. Like the video, yeah. Then hit the bell icon for more videos. We'll see you in my next tutorials. Thank you very much.